happy Thursday. Today is a very cloudy, wet, gloomy, cold fall Thursday. This is like the perfect weather for fall though. It's like, yay, fall is finally here. It has finally come to Georgia, which is so nice. So, I am on my way to Buford, Georgia, which is about 16 miles away. Actually, it says 20. Um, and about 35 minute drive, which is good because it means that there's no traffic out anywhere. Um, I am headed to the Olive Garden in Buford because I am meeting up with a young lady by the name, I think her name is London. <laughs> guessing her name is London because she has Life with London. Her YouTube channel is Life with London, so her her name is London. So Ian Hugh, um, so funny, and what are the chances of this happening? I met her briefly, and we're talking like a few seconds, when Brian and I were in Vegas back in April, we were down town Fremont Street and I was filming stuff that was going on in Fremont Street and she came over to me and asked if I was a YouTuber and I said yep I sure am and she says me too and she goes my channel is Life with London and I told her what my channel was and then we parted ways and that was it and when I got home or even I think that night or whatever or the next day, I actually found her on Facebook. No, I didn't, I take that back. I did wait till I got home because I couldn't remember what her channel name was. So I, when as soon as I got home and I watched the video of where um, she had come up to me um, and she told me where her channel was, I immediately looked for her channel on YouTube and subscribed. So I've been a subscriber on her channel since April and I've been following her little journey or whatever and I believe that she lived in California and then a couple of weeks ago she posted a video of her here in Georgia and in that video she said that she and her husband and her family were moving to Georgia and I was like what no way so I immediately sent her a message on uh, YouTube and asked her if that was like seriously legit what is going on and she said yeah girl she said we are moving to georgia we'll be there and i forgot what date she said but it was like you know october something end of october and i'm like girl we are gonna have to hook up because that is like the coolest thing like i wouldn't I don't know. I just love the internet. I love the way how the internet works. I love the people that you meet. I love the just how it works. I mean, good grief. I, who would have ever thought in a million years that I probably would have ever ran into her again from Fremont Street, Las Vegas to now we're getting ready to go have lunch at Olive Garden and be for Georgia. And she lives here now. This is just the craziest thing ever. So yeah. I just love the way I love the way the internet works. I love YouTube. I love how you can meet people on YouTube and you can become friends with people from YouTube and I just love it. And I think what I like so what I like so much too about the fact that I'm going to meet up with her is that she is another YouTuber and that is what's so nice because I don't have other YouTubers around that I can relate to. They can't relate to me. It's like people don't like to have the camera on their face all the time, but like she gets it. So it's like, heck yeah. So yay for having another vlogger close by and hopefully, you know, we'll be able to do things together and go vlog and share. So, um, I'll probably say her channel name quite a few times on this vlog, but if you haven't already, go subscribe to A Life with London. She is now a Georgian, and uh, she, <laughs> uh, which is like so cool. So I'm excited to uh, meet up with her and hang out for a little bit, and um, I will introduce you guys to London. And uh, yeah, so that's that's what I'm doing today. Um, I actually 
um, put my tree up last night, which is nice. So I'll show you guys that later. I bought a new tree last year, last Christmas. If you guys have been following me like since then, you guys will know that I bought a new Christmas tree last year um, when we were in Chicago for Christmas, visiting Brian's family. Well, like the day after Christmas was like all their big, huge after Christmas sales. And so we went into a store called Menards and I got this like it was like a $400 tree and I got it for like half off even more I think it was even more off like it was like 70% off or something like that but anyway but I got this nine foot tree and all the ornaments on it for like I think it was like 170 bucks or something like that but anyway so yeah I got this tree and I put it up last night and I forgot that it has it's pre-lit and it's got colored lights on it and I am so so not a huge fan of the colored lights. I've always liked white lights. I've just, I don't know, I've always liked white lights. Um, for me personally, I don't know, white lights are more classy. Um, they're just more, um, I don't know, how do I, how do I say it without being like, sounding snotty? <laughs> I don't mean it sounds snotty. Because I mean, to each their own, obviously. If everybody likes colored lights, they're good. Um, are these, what are these? Oh, these are bulldogs. I thought they were like little piglets. I thought they were pigs and they were dogs. They were like little bulldogs. That was funny. Um, so we know what I was saying about the white lights. I don't know. White lights are just so classy to me. Just They're just so classy and I just like them. So that's the only word that I can think of right now that, that suits me for, that, for what white lights mean to me. But I just like white lights. But sparkly lights or colored lights are just so like, I don't know. I don't know. I like them too because they're pretty, but anyway, nonetheless, it's a pre-lit tree. It's got colored lights on it. Um, it's going to be fine. I'm not worried about it. I'll show you guys when we get home, when I get home later on this afternoon, um, what the tree lights look like, what the tree looks like. It's huge. It's huge. A nine foot tree. And then we have the other tree, which I'm going to be putting up in our room which was my old Christmas tree that I had in the family room last year. Um, I'll be putting in our bedroom, um, which is nice because because my new tree is nine foot tall, I can't stick my snowman topper on top of that tree because the tree hits the ceiling. So yeah, that's gonna be an issue. <laughs> so I'm gonna put um, the old tree in our room and use all the decorations from you know that and put it in our room and then um i'm really not sure how to decorate this tree yet because it's got colored lights i don't know i know that sounds so weird but like to me colored lights take away from all of the ornaments on the tree and that's something that me and my sister were talking about last night is like that's how we feel about it it's like oh does it really like take away but i don't know i'll figure it out i have a ton of ornaments anyway so I'm sure I'll get it figured out. I am stopping at Starbucks really quick. Thank you, Starbucks. Logan, Mel, can we get started for you today? Uh, could I get a grande white mocha, please, with caramel drizzle and caramel syrup? And I actually have my own cup. A grande white mocha with caramel drizzle and caramel syrup? Yeah. Christmas yeah. Alright, anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, it's going to come to 6 I'll see you. All right, thanks. Let me pull forward and pay for this, and I'll be right back. Oh, my God, you guys. There's my car. That little Range Rover. That's what I want. Oh, my gosh. There's my little car. I mean, I wouldn't buy it from that place because it looks like a like shady little joint, but look at there. There it is. That's what I want. I want that Range Rover. It will be mine. So I am just a little bit early. Um, I texted her and just let her know that I was here. No hurry. She didn't have to hurry over or whatever. Um, so I didn't want her to feel rushed. So um, but anyway, she just texted back and she said that she'll be headed over. Um, but again, I didn't want her to feel rushed. But I think she's actually just staying in like this hotel that's like right over here. But um, anyway, so yeah. So I'm excited. Yay. And I made it here in like no time. There was like no traffic. I'm trying to push my put my leg, pan, pants legs down. <sighs> there was like no traffic coming here, which is so nice because in the next couple of weeks, the madness is going to begin because of Christmas, which I'm surprised that it's not already, but yeah. 
But yeah, I think she's, she might be staying at one of these hotels over here. But anyway, let's go have some lunch with Miss London. Jumping and catching up. Say hi, hey London. <laughs> this hi, is hi, London. <laughs> We're at Olive Garden. Yes, finally we get to meet and have lunch. I know. So this is where we're at. Well, this is an appetizer. Yes. Angie or this. I think and I'm going to try one. You are. You're going to help yourself. Amazing. Yep. And I don't, I forgot what it was called, but it's like some cheesy. It's like a dip. Dip. Yeah. Put your bread on your bread. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Look at this. And I love it because look, we're what? together. We can do we this. Can do this. <laughs> I'm so excited. Me too. You guys don't understand. No, we don't. For friends. Yep. And uh, I ordered and salad. Yep. That's what we're going to have. Oh, you can eat yeah. soup and salad. Yummy! Yay! <laughs> Okie dokie, so London and I are finished with our lunch and now we are at Kirkland's together. She and I are gonna go maybe do a little damage here in Kirkland's, girl! <laughs> yeah! I love this store. It's Ooh, very it dangerous. Smells. Yes. Isn't that pretty? That's not bad actually for that. It's not too bad. Yeah. That's not bad at all. Yes. Oh, how cute. Mm-hmm. That's cute. I have a couple of those already. These are really cute. Oh, that one lights up too. Oh, wow. oh I see. Sixteen ninety nine. Mhm. That's not bad. That's awesome. Mhm. Mm Very cute. I have that. That little camper. Oh, how cute! Oh, I did this one year. Did you? I was thinking about doing that this year. These are so cute. I had, uh, it was a Grinchmas thing. That we had. Oh, how cute. Grinchmas. 25% off all tree decor. Mm. So 25% off all tree decor, girl. Nice. That one lights up too. Maybe I can't see that it lights up because it's light in here. Bucks for that. That one's cute. Okie dokie. So it's about two o'clock, and I am now on my way home. I've departed ways from Miss London. She is so awesome. I absolutely love her. I think that she and I are going to have a wonderful, wonderful friendship together, and we are going to have a lot of fun together as well. Um, she is my type of gal, Miss London. You are. So um, anyway, we just left Kirkland's and I think we're gonna get together next Wednesday. So she's gonna head up my way next Wednesday and we are gonna go do the um, antique stores at the Cotton Mills in Monroe and stuff and just kind of hang out in Monroe for a little while. And she wants to get one of those um, like pick window frames um, or old windows. So I'm like, I can hook you up, girl. You can get it for five bucks in Monroe. So we are gonna go do some antiquing next Wednesday. So that should be a lot of fun. And then we'll probably grab lunch while we're out. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. So yes, if you guys have not subscribed to her yet go do so she is life with london all one word life with london and she is absolutely a fun little gal to be around absolutely love her like i said i think she and i are going to be wonderful wonderful friends and that would be great because i need friends here in georgia all i have are my neighborhood friends which those are friends too and which is great i have nothing wrong with that but i just like having outside friends friends that are um you know like the same things that i do you YouTubing and stuff like that and we're okay with the whole YouTube thing and having each other on camera and yeah so that was a lot of fun so anyway so there you go I 
I'm so happy that she's here. It's kind of, like I said, it's so weird. But um, anyway, so I'm headed home. I actually have to stop at the store really quick and pick up some eggs for dinner tonight. Um, Brian and I are going to make breakfast for dinner. So that is what I'm going to do. And I will check back with you guys a little bit later. I did pick up a couple of things at Kirkland's, nothing major. Um, I picked up a new lamp because I actually wanted a new lamp for my foyer. And so I got one and it's with the Edison bulb. So I'm so excited about that. It was like only $21.99, but I will show you guys, um, show it to you guys when I get home and I will see you guys later. Bye. Okie dokie. So I am back from my lunch with London and I just want to show you guys a few things that I picked up at Kirkland's really quick. Nothing fancy, but I did get a lamp. So this is the lamp that I picked up at Kirkland's. I like this. I love the Edison bulb. I just think it's really, really cute. It was regular $34.99. I got it for $21.99. So I think that's a really good bargain on that. And then I picked up a small one of these, which I already have one, which is up there. You can see it already has a cotton in it. I just picked up a smaller one I'll probably add something Christmassy in that one and then I picked up this cute little Christmas garland which I can make but I just didn't want to so um, anyway I just picked this up um, I'm gonna add it somewhere in the house I'm sure I'll find a place for it very very soon um, and then I was gonna show you guys my Christmas tree let me see here so okay so first things first let me show you guys my window with the shutters okay so everybody said leave the shutters alone which I will I'm, I don't think I'm gonna hang anything on it like as far as lanterns go but for now for like Christmas time this is what I've done so I mean what do you guys think for like Christmassy I'm gonna show you guys a little bit closer what I did so um my neighbor which is so great she made those bows for me because I cannot make a bow to save my life and then I just added like those cute little um like Christmas balls they're just hanging like behind it and so that's what I have on both sides of the window so the shutters I think that looks cute and I think like just for the holidays I think it looks really really cute I don't know what do you guys think I think it looks cute just for the holidays um but I don't think I'm going to hang, well, I know I'm not going to hang my lanterns on there because that is kind of like, it'll be like too much. Everybody kind of agreed about that. So thanks for everybody's input. I loved it. And then um, this so far is my tree. I don't have any of the ornaments on it right now, but the tree is up. So I'm going to show that to you guys right now. So that is what my tree looks like. And as you guys can see, it's kind of got the, oh, why isn't it focusing that looks pretty nonetheless but anyway um it you can see it's like touching the ceiling look how tall it is it's like touching the ceiling so like right there is like nine foot tall but anyway like but the ceiling gets like taller as you go up so i think that was like 12 or 16 feet up there um but anyway that part right there is nine foot but anyway that's what the tree looks like um i added my ladder back there and um, that's all I have so far. And I did do the fireplace mantle just a little bit. Um, so, but that's what my tree is gonna look like right now because of it's got colored lights on it. So, I mean, it is what it is. I'm gonna have to deal with it because I bought the tree last year. So, <laughs> I'm like, I so did not want colored lights, but whatever. Like I said, it is what it is. I'm gonna have to deal with it. I mean, it's pretty but <laughs> colored lights i wanted white lights but that's okay so anyway that is that for now and uh i'm gonna go ahead since it's what I, I keep losing my clocks here okay it's a quarter to three so it's a quarter of three right now so i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here that way i can get it up and edited so you guys can see it tomorrow i had a really wonderful day visiting with london um, it was just so great to meet her. Like I said, it's just kind of the weirdest thing. Like five seconds on Fremont Street in Las Vegas back in April. And now she's here in Georgia and we had lunch together. How weird is that? But anyway, nonetheless, yeah. So I'm going to end the vlog. I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today in London. If you guys like this vlog, give it a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to subscribe to London. Her channel is Life with London. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.